Name is Craig Walsh, teacher at PWK. Tell me a little bit about your program. So it's basically our program is the PWK Winter Camp Program. It's uh, open to students from grades 10 to 12. And the aim of the program is to teach on the land traditional skills, hunting, trapping, fishing, um, bush survival, etc., to students from grade 10 to 12, and with the help, actually with the total help and coordination of local elders in the area. Um, How do you measure the success of your program? Success is measured uh, through conversations with the students, checking to see what they know, what they've learned, just by observations on, on what they're doing and how they're controlling and working themselves in a camp situation, group dynamics, and conversations not only with the elder but between the elders and the students so that you're, you're kind of getting a, a feel from them of how their, their level of buy-in, et cetera, in the camp program. If we think of success in the, in, through the course of time, uh, I think one of the most obvious signs of success, of success would be how the students talk about the coordinators over the course of time, and that would be local elders, as well as how the local elders talk about the students in the camp program. So the, just, the, just the, the, the group dynamics, I guess. Um, in your opinion, in your view, what is Indigenous education? Indigenous education is a broad, a broad topic. It can be anything from, if, if we're, from indigenizing education, but it, in a nutshell, it's how to take the teachings of those around us and work it into what you try to do in schools. How to support students' backgrounds, how to support students, what, what they're bringing in from their homes and from their cultures. and. Um, giving them the opportunity to learn from that. What's your vision, your hope for Indigenous education in the next 10 years? My hope is that we continue to, to grow together. And by that I mean, as a school, we need to obviously have the, the four R's, reading, writing, with, and it's how students from the local areas, regardless if it's a Fort Smith and surrounding area or if it's someone coming down from the Delta, you're honoring everybody's culture and you're, in, you're, you're including that culture in schools and forming a real purpose as to why you, um, you want to teach about it and you want to learn from each other. It's not just from what we learn in books. Right? So, and Indigenous education is not just one-off on the land camps is how you take that afterwards and, and meld it together and actually bring it into real world teaching. Uh, and sorry, that was what you hope to see in the next 10 years? Yeah. Oh, I want to <laughs> see it continue to grow. <laughs> I want to see us continue. I learn from the kids. Kids learn from me, so it's a two-way street. And, but that, that the programs in the school don't flounder, that, that these programs are not just one-offs. They're not just a very short snippet for, for a small period of time, but how it's not just for one grade level, it's, it, it works and builds from grade 7 to 12 right across. So every kid is, in, is included. They may not all want to go on a winter camp, but they want to be, they, they want to be seen, be heard, and be known. Mm -hmm. So that's, it's just that building on what we already have and making it better.